What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Bianca Nero Zone for uh, a new daily news update where we are going to talk about uh, Bremer potentially talking about a move or not, was it completely out of context. We have Flocatelli potentially risking it all uh, with his injury, we have Sancho apparently getting closer and we have a battle uh, between Inter and Juve, not just on Sunday but also uh, on the transfer uh, market. So uh, before we get into it, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit that bell notification, and uh, let's dive straight into it. Okay, so we do start off with Bremer because you might say, you know, what is this? Because um, the news was that he's very close to signing a new deal until 28. All those things are still true. I wasn't really willing to talk about it, but however, he made a, he he made an he had an interview with the Telegraph, and quotes were flying around, you know, on social media, and they were completely out of context, you know, uh, like quotes as "I want to play, I want to I want to move to the Premier League or or La Liga or was it like?" And it was all over the place, uh, but he said something. A bit different you know he said something i've seen a thousand players do and a handful of players playing for us you know or play used to play for us what he said was one day i would like to play in the premier league but at the moment my focus is on juve and winning trophies in black and white we're one of the best clubs in the world now he didn't say i want to move he didn't say i want to leave he said one day potentially i do want to play in the premier league and People are pissed, people are mad, and I'm very confused as of why. Because uh, I think by now, people should have learned that this is not 1996, you know. And this, this, like, this is different time, you know. Players grew up watching the Premier League now, you know. And I've said it so many times, don't get attached to players. But at the end of the day, it's a business. And it's not like years uh, ago where players are sticking at one team, especially in Italy, they're on the move. They're on the move. If they have offers, they will reflect on it, especially if they're not Italian players. And even Italian players are doing that now, to be honest. And this shouldn't be a shock because we were in a much, much better position years back. We were winning. We were competing in Europe, playing Champions League final. Pogba still wants to leave. Fidal still wanted to leave. Like, players still wanted to leave. Very good. Players still wanted to leave. Like, nobody should be shocked. Like, it is what it is. That's 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 the reality we're in. That is something we just need to accept and deal, uh, deal with. That's why I said don't get attached to players. I'm not attached to players because I know what it is. It's a business. And, you know, if a player wants to leave, he wants to leave. You know, it, it, it is what it is. And he didn't say... I'm out because he has a deal and he's going to sign a new deal that's going to take him even longer to the club. He's aware of the situation, you know. Um, so it's not something that's got happening in one, two, three. He said one day, potentially, or like one day, I would like to play in the Premier League. And that's fair to say, you know, everybody has a dream. He didn't grow up dreaming about playing for Juve. He's at Juve now. He's happy, but he had a dream, you know, one day I would love to play in the champ in the Champions League. In the Premier League, probably in the Champions League as well. And if that day comes, if that opportunity comes, you know, and if it's a good moment, he will take it. I think it got blew up. It blew up so much. And people were saying, oh, leave. You cannot say these things. He didn't say goodbye. You know, he didn't say those things. He was just very open and very honest. And I don't see any issue with it because it's not the first one. And it's 100% not going to be the last one or the last player playing for us or any team saying, you know what, potentially one day I would like to play in those in, in a different league. So I don't get it, what the fuss was all about, but that's what Bremer said, and I was not expecting Bremer to play here for his entire career for many players in this squad. So it is what it is, I guess. You know, um, He's going to sign that new deal. He, ha he still has a very long-term deal with the club, so no issues there at the moment. Then let's move on to Locatelli because he... He's injured. He's still not training with the team. I 
like I don't like it's impossible for him to play. Like I'm not sure how he's gonna play and what capacity he could potentially play for us. Like I will be absolutely stunned if he plays on Sunday, and I think it's a bad idea going off the information that's out there. And Tuto Sport is saying he's playing uh, or he's you know trying to play on Sunday, uh, wearing some protective gear so he can play against Inter. That's a no go. When I read that, I was like, stop it. You know, if you need to go to that those lengths, the season is extremely long still. What is one game compared to multiple weeks? Because it's not that we're facing Lecce, Empoli, and Cagliari at home in the next couple of weeks. You know, we have Monza, Frosinone away. We have Napoli at home. We have Roma at home. We have tough games coming up. Why would you even think Think about risking Locatelli for one game when you could potentially lose him for multiple games. Like, that's one of the stupidest things you could potentially do uh, this Sunday. If he's not fit and he's not fit, he's still in a lot of pain, he's not training with the first team, he's training separately and not even on the pitch, then absolutely do not consider it that. We have Wea potentially back and now, boom, he's out for another 20 days. No idea what that's about, but I'm sick and tired about it. With this, with this club, like players not even coming back from injury and being injured again, it's 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 a joke. The way our situation is very weird. The good thing is we didn't pay much money for him, you know. Uh, but ever since he joined, I, I keep forgetting we asked on the team. To be honest, um, we cannot take any risk with Locatelli. If he's not fit, he's not fit. If he's in pain, he's in pain. You don't play him. It's actually, it's actually that simple. To be honest, like it's actually that simple. So, I'm. I'm on the part of he's not going to play and do not play him if he cannot play. You know, don't risk it. Don't go to these extreme lengths to for what. But that's the Locatelli one. Let's see how that will go. Then we have Alexand- uh, Alexandre. We have Jaden Sancho, excuse me. Um, and this was a very easy tap in uh, news from Mail Sport saying that Jean Claude Blanc will soon be the CEO of Menu or Sporting Director slash. His arrival could make Sancho make a Sancho move much easier. This is one of those reports. One plus one is two. LeBlanc um, Blanc was at the club, you know, Serie B, oversaw the stadium, you know, construction a little bit as well. It's a very easy link. Oh, he's going to Manu. You are in for Sancho. That deal could potentially happen very soon. The, the same issues remain on that table. Like, the, the issues, the big... Uh, stumbling blocks are not just going away because uh, Blanc is going to be the manager. Like, it's just not going to happen. So, that's something we we should follow the Sancho news, but we cannot say, oh, because he is there now, Sancho's going to, you know, one most definitely going to uh, stay, uh, join. So, it's something to monitor, but that was a very easy tap in uh, news. And then the next one, Turam, again, value that 40 million. It's a battle between us and Inter. It's a battle between us, Inter, and a lot of Premier League clubs and even La Liga clubs. So that's something that's not going to happen for us, especially for us in January and even in the summer. I'm not sure. Like, the, the club likes him. Juntili really likes him. But, I'm not, like, if it's 40 million and more teams are in for him, I think we are up for him. <laughs> like, that's, I think, the reality of the club now. So, um Let's see, but the drum name will not go away. It will not go away. It will be out there uh, until the end of the summer, pr- probably. Um, but yeah, that's the daily news update. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that bell notification. I'll be back live um, Thursday. First on Inter Worldwide, then on this channel as well. I have multiple videos lined up. A new show lined up uh, that's going to drop on Saturday. It's a stat show slash preview show for the Inter game and then obviously for the other games. And I'm going to spice it up because I'm working on a new or like bringing in a new platform to help uh, me, help uh, the show, you know, with insights and games and all those things and players. Uh, so I think that's going to be fun. But that's something for Saturday. So uh, like this one and I will see you guys tomorrow live again.